On this episode of the Modern Travel Agent Podcast, I'm going to be covering some of the latest and most relevant travel news from the past few weeks, which includes record number of arrivals in the Dominican Republic, some temporary and more long-term closures and renovations due to Hurricane Fiona, the removal of COVID testing in some major Caribbean islands, a delayed opening for a brand new resort in Playa del Carmen, a pilot program for online passport renewal in the U.S., two different strategic partnerships between some of the biggest hotel brands in the industry and new leadership at the top of Apple Leisure Group. We're gonna cover it all right now. The Dominican Republic is welcoming a record number of tourists. Arrivals in July were up 24% from 2019, and despite the passage of Hurricane Fiona, the DR welcomed over 430,000 tourist arrivals in September, which makes it the best September in their history of tourism. Now to keep up to date on the latest Dominican Republic news, I recommend following their Minister of Tourism, David Collado, on Instagram, that's at David, C-O-L-L-A-D-O-M, as well as their Ministry of Tourism's official account at GoDomRep. And if you're looking to learn more about the destination and what it has to offer, GoDominicanRepublic.com is the place to go. In the wake of Hurricane Fiona, Playa Hotels and Resorts released an update on temporary closures of the following resorts in the Dominican Republic. Hilton La Romana Family is going to be open on November 1st. Hilton La Romana Adult, November 20th. Hyatt Zolara Capcana will be open on November 15th. Hyatt Ziva Capcana will be open on December 6th. Sanctuary Capcana has had their opening delayed all the way until January 20th, 2023. The options for canceling, rescheduling, or transferring stays vary depending on the hotel and the method of booking. So if you have guests scheduled to arrive before these opening dates, you'll want to check playaresorts.com backslash storm dash policy to review your options. And as always, if you made your reservation through a wholesaler or tour operator, you're gonna to wanna to reach out to them as well. As of September 20th, 2022, the COVID testing requirement for entering the Bahamas has been eliminated. So all travelers, regardless of vaccination status, are no longer required to submit to pre-travel COVID-19 testing to enter the country. And as of October 1st, 2022, there are no pre-arrival testing or entry requirements for those traveling to Anguilla. Now, if you're looking for a full list of the Caribbean islands and COVID-19 related entry requirements, Travel Weekly has a great page. I'll include the link below in the show notes. Most agents who book luxury all-inclusive travel to Mexico or the Caribbean are familiar with the adult-only all-inclusive brand, Secrets. But AMR Collection is launching a new brand with Secrets Impression Mokshe in Playa del Carmen. Now, Secrets Impression is meant to be a step above an already great product in Secrets. And in their own words, Secrets Impression Mokshe will offer, quote, the most elevated level of all-inclusive luxury with large upscale suites and extravagant beachfront villas with a more private, personalized experience for the most discerning travelers. Now, every agent knows the difficulties and growing pains in opening a new hotel. So it's not too surprising that the opening was delayed until December 1st, quote, due to unforeseeable and unpreventable construction delays. In the statement that they released, they stated, to reaffirm their commitment to value travel partners, travel agency community, and future guests, the resort will be protecting any bookings affected by this change. For any additional inquiries, please contact Daniel Mayabo, Director of Sales for Secrets Impression Mokshe at D-M-E-L-L-A-D-O at secretsresorts.com. Again, I'll include his contact info in the show notes. The U.S. Department is currently working on a pilot program that would allow qualifying U.S. citizens to renew their passport online. Now, every travel agent knows the hassles associated with our clients renewing their passports. So anything that improves this process, of course, is a welcome development. A piece in Travel Pulse reports that online renewals are expected to cut the time of passport renewal by one to seven weeks, cutting the average renewal process time from eight to 11 weeks by mail to five to seven weeks online. While a piece in US Today suggests that the processing time will be the same as renewing by mail. So the exact impact on turnaround time is still yet to be determined. At any rate, it looks to potentially make the renewal process easier and more streamlined, which means less headaches for us as agents. IHG Hotels and Resorts announces a new endeavor for its boutique brand, Kimpton Hotels and Restaurants, with the signing of its first all-inclusive resort. Now, working with the resort's owner, Sunset World, and operator, Playa Hotels and Resorts, Kimpton Hacienda Tres Rios Resort Spa and Nature Park in Playa del Carmen will reopen in early 2024. Now, this resort was originally opened in November 2008, so this opening is as Kimpton's first all-inclusive. 
which will feature not only a rebrand of the environmentally conscious resort, but also an interior renovation of its 255 guest rooms, suites, and villas. Throughout the resort and nature park, guests can explore 10 cenotes and discover more than 90 species of animals and 120 species of plants. Again, the property will be operated by Playa Hotels and Resorts, which currently manages more than 10 hotels in Mexico. They've successfully assisted with developing well-known brands such as Hyatt Zalara, Hyatt Ziva, and Wyndham Ultra. And speaking of Wyndham, according to PRNewsWire.com, Wyndham Hotels and Resorts, the world's largest hotel franchising company with more than 8,900 hotels in over 95 countries, and Palladium Hotel Group, one of the largest Spanish hotel companies, announced a commercial alliance that will add more than 6,500 rooms to Wyndham's registry collection. Now, the 14 all-inclusive TRS hotels and Grand Palladium Hotels and Resorts managed by Palladium Hotel Group, located in Mexico, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and Brazil, will join Wyndham's portfolio under a long-term agreement leveraging Wyndham's extensive distribution and bringing Wyndham's all-inclusive resort portfolio to 26 hotels. The piece on PR Newswire continues to state that by joining the registry collection, Palladium Hotel Group's hotels will tap into the Wyndham Rewards Loyalty Program with more than 940 million enrolled members. At the same time, Wyndham Hotels and Resorts will benefit from Palladium Hotel Group's long history as a hotel management company in five-star all-inclusive resorts in America and especially in the Caribbean. Now, this is a trend that we've been seeing more and more, and I don't see it slowing down. Hotels, resorts, and operators are looking for ways to increase their distribution and streamline management of the properties. And these types of partnerships can be incredibly beneficial for both parties. Now, for travel agents, the major potential downside is the continued growth of loyalty programs that are designed to specifically incentivize direct bookings. Now, whoever is closest to the customer typically wins, and these hotel companies know that. So while each loyalty program is different, ultimately their goal is to encourage repeat direct business. It's going to be interesting to see how all these loyalty programs shape up. And last but not least, in a news release, Hyatt said former Apple Leisure Group president and CEO Alejandro Reynal, who has led at ALG for the past three years, chose to pursue opportunities outside of Apple Leisure Group which was acquired by Hyatt this past November. Now, who's going to take the helm? Well, that would be none other than Hyatt CEO Mark Hoplamazion. This seems to be just another step towards completing the acquisition of ALG by Hyatt. But as to what this means for ALG or for agents that are booking their hotel packages through ALG, it still remains to be seen. Uh, having seen a version of this process before when Mark Travel and Apple Leisure Group joined forces, I expect ALG will continue to state business as usual with the same commitment to agents and our mutual customers. Ultimately, the safe bet is that Hyatt spent a lot of money to acquire ALG, and they're going to be looking to maximize the impact of ALG in driving revenue to Hyatt hotels through distribution and loyalty programs. We can also expect to see AMR Collection Resorts slowly being rebranded as Hyatt Inclusive Collection. And that's all for this episode of the Modern Travel Agent Podcast. I've included all the relevant links in the show notes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and ModernTravelAgent.com. Until next time, take care.